In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use the repost tool in Java. What is going on guys, the Cash Creator is back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to use the repost tool in Java. It's an incredibly powerful tool that you guys can use that helps you to take content from other people on Instagram and then post it yourself without doing anything at all. That's right guys, you can take Instagram's best engagement, you know, from your competitors, you can take the post with the best engagement whilst you're asleep and have your account posting that content whilst you're asleep or eating or drinking or doing whatever you want. All right, guys, so I'm going to get into the video right now and show you guys exactly how I do it. All right. So first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick any accounts at random. These are some of my trial accounts that I have. Um, and let's go for this one in the pets niche. All right, guys, I'm going to use this account, Instagram account to show you how to use the repost tool. All right. Um, so the first thing that you guys need to do is you need to create a campaign. I've already gone through that in my last video. It's about how to schedule and automate your content on Javi automatically on Instagram with Javi. Um, so I'm not going to go through that in this video. However, I am going to assume you know how you can use campaign um, and then I'm going to use the re show you how to use the repost tool. All right, guys. So first things first, let me really quickly show you the campaign tab. It is over here. You click on campaign. Um, so whatever Instagram page you have, if it's the pets page, you need to create a separate um, Instagram campaign. As you can see over here, I have a campaign for the pets page. OK, and you, once you link your Instagram account to it, or you know all of the reposts posts will go straight to your campaign okay um, so that's basically what campaign is you take content from the rest of Instagram and then you send it to your campaign and then you can decide what time you want to post your content all right guys um, so next thing that you need to do is you need to go ahead and click on tools um, and once you click on that all you have to do is you have to go in the settings all right so you go in the settings over here um, you know and then once you do that you go on to the settings the specific settings for the repost tool all right um so i'm going to show you over here you click on repost and once you do that um you go into the settings so i'm going to show you guys the prime optimum settings all right so what i like to do is first of all i like to go to the sources because first you need good sources of content all right so what you want to do is whatever niche your instagram page is in you need to find quality content similar to your page in the same niche and then you need to take that content all right so what you want to do first is click on this repost posts of specific users once you have picked that you click on you, you find valid usernames okay um of pages in the instagram niche whose content you want to steal okay so if i have a makeup page for example um you know maybe kylie jenner posts awesome makeup videos you know or something and i want to take her content so i'm going to put a username in here okay and then you simply click on add usernames but i'm showing you an example of my pets page so i'm not going to show you kylie jenner and as you can see over here down below there are three pages with a lot of followers. All of them have well over 100K followers and they post great content about pets in the pets niche, pictures of cute pets, cute videos of pets, okay? Um, and once you fill in these details, you can repost, you know, the highest engagement posts from these people onto your own Instagram page. How cool is that, guys? All right, um, so once you've done that, you've added these usernames in, what you wanna do is um, you want to go all the way back to the settings okay and then change the settings so um, over here this is very important at the top right this section shows you exactly how many reposts you're going to get per day all right um, so the first thing that you want to do is decide how many reposts you want to do okay i never repost more than seven times in fact seven times is too many okay because instagram thinks you're botting and they may ban you or phone verify you so don't do too many all right um so 
what you want to do is um, let's say um, you know if I want to do less posts I'm going to just increase this time to let's say 90 okay not 90 let's say 150 all right um, and then this one to 90 as you can see the repost has gone down okay so the more time you have between each operation you know the less repost you're going to do always do this as well one repost put one here and one here that means you get only one per operation and yeah then the next thing you want to do is you want to execute it in between 11:59 p.m. and then 11:59 a.m. all right guys um so once you've done these settings it you know will approximately be four times a day i'd say that's optimal even six or seven is pushing it instagram may decrease your trust score and think you're using bots if you have too many reposts okay um if you want to you can you know take a day off here saturday or sunday or something for example and it will make instagram less suspicious okay um and then that's all you have to do so once you scroll down um the next thing that you want to do is go on the post filters and then click on here repost only if engagement greater than 20 percent average so basically what this does is um it checks the engagement of all those posts on instagram and then it only posts posts that had 20 percent greater engagement so more likes more comments you know more shares 20 percent more than the average and that shows that you only get the best content okay it's like a filter of all the rubbish content over here and then you know this tool is like a filter and it only allows the best content to get through that filter all right um and then the next thing that you can do is like i already showed you you've already created a campaign in the campaign section and then you know if you want to you can send post to campaign instead of posting on the wall that's what i like to do okay i like to send it to the campaign first um and then from the campaign i like to post it onto the wall okay um so there you have it that's exactly how to do it then the final thing that you have to do in the settings is do this enable dynamic hashtags okay so this is really important so if you are using all of the same insta you know instagram hashtags for all of your reposts instagram is going to suspect you of spam and they might you know uh you know they might not show your content in that hashtag so if you search a hat tag like pets for, hashtag for pets and they label you as a scammer spammer even though you use that hashtag your posts will not show in that category of that hashtag because they suspect you so what you need to do is enable dynamic hashtags um, and then put um, relevant hashtags in both of these sections and in, and basically Javi will pick you know and some of these and then it will pick some of these it says pick 50 percent from the right and then pick 50 percent from the left so just put loads loads of hashtags in here and here um and then you know if you have for example six six to eight it will pick six to eight um out of these in total so three from here and then three from here for example all right so that helps you to stop being labeled as a spammer um by instagram all right um so that is my settings complete and then oh i've got the sources so javi knows exactly where i'm going to be getting my content from these instagram pages and then it's going to my campaign all right so all you have to do next is you have to press this button and then it starts and then in javi will be taking content from those pages and sending it to your campaign all right as you can see if i click on results this section shows you all your different reposts and if you scroll down here it shows loads and loads of reposts that i've been doing over the last few months all right guys um and it shows you um where it took them from okay the page that it took it from all right guys um so there you have it that's how you do the repost um now if i go ahead and go into the campaign section like i said you should already know how to do a campaign if you watch my other video you'll find out um, you click on the campaign um, and then as you can see over here you know posts have been sent to your drafts section okay so the posts from the repost tool get sent to here and you know these have accumulated over months and months and months so I have loads of posts in here it shows when I use that tool over here and when it got sent okay um, 
So all of these posts, as you can see, this cute pet pictures, they've all been sent here over time. Okay, and then all you have to do next is um, simply edit. So once you click edit, you can change the caption or whatever you want to do. Okay, um, and there's a little bunny there. You could change your caption if you wanted to. Um, and then once you've done that, you simply send it to post list. Okay, so you send, I'm going to send that to post list. I'm going to send this to post list as well. Okay, um, there's a cute video over here. I'm going to send it to post list. I'm going to send this fox to post list as well. Okay, um, and then all you have to do next is you simply schedule it. Okay, so this is how you do the repost tool. So for example, um, I want to schedule something for tomorrow, let's say. Um, so I'm going to change it to June 27th. Um, and I want it to schedule at 5 p.m. That's all you do, and it goes straight to your wall if you click here. Okay, um, then I want to schedule this next one. Okay, you click on add timer. I'm going to schedule that for, you know, tomorrow as well, but a, li a little later on in the day at, let's say, 10.30 p.m. Okay, you send it to your wall by clicking that. And then you do the same for these if you want to, okay. I'm going to, you know, do this for the day after tomorrow, June 28th. Send it to the wall, okay, um, and then do the same thing here. Add timer, and then send it to the wall. You know, let's say the day off. You know, June 29th, okay. There you are, okay. Um, and then um, what you do next is you go back to campaign and then start the campaign. Okay, it's already active as you can see over here. So if you press start, it starts. If you press stop, even if you have something scheduled. It's not going to post it. All right. So this is basically how to use the repost tool and how to schedule your content. All right, guys, if you do click on history over here, um, it shows you stuff that you've already posted. As you can see, I've posted a huge amount of content already. Um, and that's part of the reason that my Instagram accounts are so successful, because I'm posting great content whilst also using the follow and unfollow tool. Don't forget, guys, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. Um, and also, if you want more videos on Javi in the future, tell me in the comment section below which videos you need information on. What do you need to know about Javi? Because I will make that video for you guys. This is the Cash Creator signing out. Peace out.